Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, and welcome to another Senate Short. I am Neil. He is Derek. Together we are your senators for this yeah. Senate Short. Everybody is liking the content. Comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let us build this community so that we can be more impactful and have a bigger voice and keep it going. So Derek, I feel like this yes, is sir. I find I find this an abusive relationship we have, you know. But you just bring these things here now to trigger me. But anyhow. <laughs> You've been laughing at this one for a little while. Um, hit me with it and let me see what's going on here. So, in yeah, the social, media, social media streets. Yeah, man. We need social media back alleys. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. But from this one on Twitter, this one is this lady, Olani Baby. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she's some kind of artist or whatever, but she put up this thing on her Twitter feed. She said, Ladies and ladies only, I want you to DM me the craziest story of what truly happened. When you text him apologizing for falling asleep, were you on a date? Were you with the person you told your partner not to worry about cheating or sleeping with someone else? DM me. Oh dear. Now, the, the DMs came, the DMs came, and boy, were they entertaining. So I thought we could, you know, take a look at a couple of these. You know what I mean? And go through them and. Give our honest take on some of the things that uh, the ladies had to say because the ladies, the ladies commented. Mm-hmm. They had a lot to say, and I just want you know, as always, to keep my guys on guard mm-hmm. and make sure my guys are aware of what's happening in these relationship back alleys, right? Mm-hmm. So here we go. One commenter posted and said, "Hi, hey, Olani. So some weeks back, I met up with a new guy I met. Was excited about being around him." Maybe it's because he's new. Got drunk that night, so we didn't do anything. Woke up to 26 missed calls from my man. It's all right there, fellas. Don't be, te- don't be, don't be calling a woman 26 times. 26 times? Right. It's not going to work with me. No, don't be doing that. Don't do that. All right. I texted back immediately that I fell asleep because I was out with my girls and got drunk. He kind of didn't believe my story, but I was able to convince him. Fast forward to minutes later when he called back and I didn't pick up. I was getting my ass ate, sucked, effed with mind blowing orgasms. LOL, long story short, I promised myself that was the last time, but there's been like four times after that day in less than a week. Please post mine too. He's following you. I would probably know it's me. LOL. LOL, your madman. So, my girl went up with another dude. First things first. Yeah. Boy, you getting up with another dude. That's neither here or there. You going with this other dude. Cause, Let's do it. Like, but, but you know that you had something for him clearly because the next day, yeah. he was down in the sauce. Yeah. But anyhow, that's neither here or there. Your mom called you 26 times and you say, all right, you know, it's kind of weird, but you know, everything is good. I mean, my girls, <laughs> I got drunk. You know, don't watch nothing. And the man called back a few minutes later when you were doing something that you shouldn't be doing. LOL. 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 I, I... It's having mind-blowing orgasms, Neil. <sighs> you know, we talk about this all the time, right? If you are going to do dirt on your partner, you know, we, we always say in this space, you know, it don't make sense to do the dirt, especially if you are in a monogamous relationship. But you know what? We ain't telling you what to do. It's your life. You're making your bed and laying it. Right? If you are going to do dirt, set up your story early. If you know full well, because we say all the time, Derek, a woman knows when she got sent for somebody. If you know you got sent for somebody, right? Set up your little cup of story a little better. Shoot. If you know... If you know full well you get up in the morning and see you, this my touch me here, boy, below the heat. Don't don't respond to them texts. Don't respond to the messages. <laughs> don't call back. Cause you don't want the man. No, you tell the man you, you create this whole spiel now and say yes, everything good thing. But no, the man calling because you know respond and you're alive and you're, you're well and everything like that. But you ain't answering no. No, you gotta create a whole new story now for why you ain't answering. And this is like gonna be a little a little more. Cause at least you could lean on 
the first story saying, oh, well, I ain't do nothing, so you know, I ain't guilty or nothing, I justify it. But you literally get, as you say, you ask here though. What's the story now? <laughs> yeah. I just saying, just, just, well, just, just be more. Just be in shower. I'll be in shower. And for, for me, they you know, don't be found over 26 times, man. Yeah, don't, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Main, 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 main. Because, main, like, main, main, main. For, for me, you know, if I call two, three times, you know, I get immediately, and I get in every swap, I get, I get immediately click over to, all right, she's doing something. You know what I mean? As in, something she doesn't want me to know. Where she? I just cynical like that, I guess. Right, 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 right. So that's the, again, just click over to that. Mm. And it's then for you to kind of disprove it. But let me got some more, let me crack on, because I told you the ladies, the ladies had their say. This, this is one of these episodes. So another lady wrote, I told him I was asleep, but I went to my ex, and I used his card to pay for our Uber, and our Uber eats during the sneaky link. I don't know what you need, but I'd be more, I'd be more upset if I use my card. I, but that's what got me. We use my pay for your link, that for the link itself. But that that I don't. You that's disrespect. Do you think? But do you want to think? But you want time? And you want time? That is disrespect. That is that is spitting in my face now. Cheating on me, cheating on me, is is a smuggler in my face. But using my yeah. card and my finances to to fund your tryst, that is funding. Yeah, that, that is hawking and spitting right here. Yeah, that is one step above boy me a dog in the curtain. Oh my goodness gracious. Or the Philly case. <laughs> that is that is the hilt. You know what I mean? That, that is the baller yeah, of disrespect. That's one step, one step away. What would be a dog eating uh, Philly case? But anyhow, there, there were more. There were oh, more. Oh, dear. Hi, Olani. So I was dating this guy on and off again for years. We got into our first really bad argument and I was off him. The night after we, we argued, he kept trying to apologize and link up to talk. But he really went to the apartment next door. I live next to a professional rugby player who's been steady asking me out. I hit him with a you up text. We Jesus. all know that text. And he blew my back out all night. Next morning, I walked back to my place from said rugby player's crib. And five minutes later, my ex, well, they had an argument and then it was ex immediately. My ex shows up. I told him that I fell asleep and need space, but had his ass back a week later. Smiling emotion. Had his ass back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, she got it like that. Fresh and carry like that. Yeah, she got yep. it like that. Yeah, she yep. got it like that. She um, got it like that. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and these are all women. Because I don't want to be labeled as misogynist. Because yeah, all- I don't want them. I don't yeah, want people they, to feel that like we're making them. these up, right? You know. And yes, we can find examples of men doing these things too. But let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, you probably know about them already. We have been held to task and accountable <laughs> for it. So the reason why you, why you may find it skewed toward women and these stories and, and us always talking about women is because you know what? We are held accountable daily. Daily. Look at what men just do. Men in the good. We just get labeled that a man is use a woman car and then have sex in the back of it and do her thing in the back of it. That's what all men just do. So I ain't doing a tip for tap. I just showing you and holding women accountable and saying, at the end of the day, right? If you know within yourself you got sent for another man, you know within yourself you're gonna do something else to somebody else, man or woman, left out your partner. Talk to your partner. Whether it is we need to fix this or you need to go about your business. And don't go back to the person. Well, we can always do an open relationship thing like Will and Jada style. Oh, I see. Anyhow, uh, yeah. <laughs> hi Olani, sharing my story with a laughing emoji. Mm-hmm. So I broke up with my ex-man a long while ago. Mm-hmm. I was out one night and stopped replying his messages, begging me to take him back. That night, I ended up hooking up with a guy I used to casually sleep with before my relationship. Right. We tried anal for the first time too. Ooh. My ex texted me the next day wanting to pick up stuff from my house and I lied and said I was sleeping so I missed his calls. Mm-hmm. Man turns up at my house a few hours later. Luckily, my casual friend with benefits dropped me home in time, mm-hmm. begging for me to take him back. Long story short, I ended up effing him too and I hadn't even showered yet. I never told him the truth. He didn't deserve to know anyways. Oh, you! Oh, Please, if you share me, this, oh, make you. it anonymous. 
Oh, he had you. a sticky wicket, man. Oh, oh. You dirty bitch! He you. had a sticky wicket. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, we just we were speaking earlier about disrespect. It gets. <laughs> I think I cannot think of anything more disrespectful in a Maoma dynamic. Well, yes, I can. There's one other thing that trumps this one. If you think you know what trumps was the most disrespectful thing you could do in a relationship, especially one where you live with a person, comment. Comment and let us know what you think. What is right below that is having sex with somebody else and not even showering off the last bit of loving. <laughs> Yo! That is... <laughs> that is... That, like, Yo! That is... That is... So, 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 hair tune, right? I don't know why you felt a need to put in the whole anal part. That has no bearing on the story. Clearly, you just felt like sharing. Go, go. Maybe to really, to really smooth in. Yes, the, drive it home. Drive home the disrespect. But, um, all right. Yeah, Men. Because, you know, we always looking for lessons here. Don't beg back behind the I have done it. I have done it. I beg back behind you. I've done it. So I want to say I don't do it, and people come for me and say, "Oh, I know you, how you do it." I've done it. I have bag back behind, behind, and I wish I could go back in the past and slap myself on my head. I know. You understand? Know because you begging back behind someone is pretty much trying to chase somebody and get somebody to do something they don't really want to do. So if you crying and begging back, I tell me about baby, we were so good together this night, next the third. And you, it gets to the point where you gotta keep saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it to the point it comes to begging. It speaks of desperation. Because it's not even about vulnerability. Mm-hmm. This is just desperation. And you're putting that person in a position to do something, A, that they don't want to do, or B, that you don't want them to tell you. So don't do it. Don't beg back behind nobody. You're no. also, you're also setting a, a, a standard where that person is better than you in terms of how you perceive them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That you are striving for this unattainable goal or whatever it is mm-hmm. in that, yeah, I want to be with this person so bad mm-hmm. that I am willing to chop my pride to the side and all that. That stuff only works on TV. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah? Th- consider yourself in all things. Men, women, boys and girls, if you are going to have back to back sex, if you can have sex with a man or a woman, and they have sex with another man or another woman in close proximity in time to each other, take the little five minutes and bathe. Please, bathe. Because not only is it disrespectful, but it's just plain nasty. Nasty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's so... Oh, man. That's so nasty, No, drink. no, this next one right here. The common environment in the 2000s about that. 